You can use strumming patterns to help you pick out picking patterns too. For instance, <clears throat> if we're going to do something simple like a G, C, D, and C. So G, C, D, and C. But if we wanted to change up that pattern into something like Now you're not limited to just strumming that either. If you know the chord shapes, you could pick those notes out in the same rhythmic pattern. So the rhythmic pattern that we played before, let's apply that to the chord changes. And all I'm just going to use chord uh, chord tones here, so I'm not going to do anything fancy uh, left-handed. It's just what we were playing before. see there's there's um, some advantage to uh, working with simple chords that you already know uh, changing up your strumming pattern which everybody's got their own go-to strumming pattern and that's a fact right make a little different and then try to assign that strumming pattern to individual notes and you'll find uh, you'll be <laughs> pleasantly surprised I'm sure at, at how something that you already know how to do has new life and uh, you're able to express yourself a little more creative uh, creatively with it so enjoy that uh, changing up uh, strumming patterns and applying those to picking uh, individual notes too.